What about yourself? The ones here there. <laughs> well, Inspector, I'd like to be a girl and play for the Galway football team. <laughs> so, Mr. O'Toole, you should know, you should know a lot about the Galway football team then. Well, you could say I'm an expert on it. I say it, I know. Very well then. A question for you. Yeah? Can you give me the line out for Galway last year? I was hoping you might ask me that. So, I wrote out when we move home. Oh, God. I read it out for you, will I? <laughs> yes, you can, yeah. You might have to slip off a bit first. I mean, uh, you're not that hot, are you? I don't want to get into the, the mood. Okay, then. Right. I'm in it now. God help us. It's close, Inspector, don't <laughs> Oh, no, I think it's Stay there. Stay. We'll slip home. Wearing the number one jersey, John O'Garrity from Kilkerry, the greatest goalie of our time, he taught them how to learn. Right full back in the corner, the captain of our team, the Mylar legend wore number two and was held in high esteem. Full back Noel Tierney wearing number three, made Milltown people roar and shout with happiness and glee. Bosco McDermott number four never let us down. This left full back was fit and strong and came from Williamstown. Invincible in the half back line and wearing number five was Johnny Donlan from Dunmore and he made you feel you were alive. Wearing the number six with such artistic flow was the great man Sean Mead and he came from Battle of the Slow. The great man from New CG with seven on his back was the famous Merton Newell whose power did never slack. McGarrett and Pat Donnell were both playing centre field. Until the final whistle blew, those two would never yield. Pat was wearing number nine, a treasure from Dunmore, and Mick from Toom was number eight. How could we ask for more? In the half forward line, Cyril Dunn, the mightiest of men, came from Ballon Slow and he wore the number ten. <coughs> Wearing number 11, Matty McDonough showed no fear. For this man from Ballygair, Sam McGuire was near. Another Dunmore man had his medal on the shelf. His name was Seamus Layden, and he wore the number 12. Full forward, Christy Turrell, the best you've ever seen. This Kilcairn man was lucky, even wearing number 13. Number 14 from Ballygair, played without a hitch. Sean Cleary had the Carabacks crying on the beach. Mm. Wearing number 15, the man that played with flail, Johnny Keenan from Dunmore, the man with the ginger hair. The referee blew his whistle, the maroon and white did flow, and Sam McGuire came over the Shannon for the second year in a row. <laughs> Excellent. Mr. Farrell, I must say I am really impressed with this class. Oh, the right good indeed, yeah. Extremely good. Now, children, retention again. Another question. This time it is a question from your catechisms. Your attention, please. Yes. Who created the heavens and the earth and all living creatures in seven days? Ah! Jesus Christ! Very good. Very good. Question for you. What, Shady Pack? What is the plural of sheep? Sheep? Yes, excellent, excellent. 